Hi there, and welcome to Ithaca, New York, where it's cold most of the year and has a habit of raining on the weekends. Today, my plan is to go get some soft serve ice cream. Now, originally my logic was that, oh, it's raining out, so the places will probably be less busy and hopefully more likely to talk to me. But uh, the sad reality is that they're probably gonna be closed. So we'll see how today goes. Shucks. All right, well, um, I hate to say it, but here's another one closed for the day. So I would say just start with your name and then the name of the shop. Okay. So my name is Heather Brecht and this is the Groton Red Caboose. All right. And is this your place? That it you is. Own? My, hus my family, my husband and I own it with All our children. Right. Yes. Have you uh, lived in Groton a long time or? I'm a transplant. Um, my husband is born and raised here. Okay. Um, I was transplanted here from college. I went to college oh, yeah. in Ethica and I never left. Ah. So, yeah. It's the same reason I'm here. Oh. My, my partner is at Cornell right now. So. Excellent. Yeah, I was that's... on the other hill. My daughter's hoping to be on that hill. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, yeah. So what is your favorite part about running an ice cream shop? Absolutely the people. Yeah? Yeah. It's, it's really fun. And all the girls who work for us have said the same thing. It's it's really cool just to get to know the people in the community. Um, I mean, we live in an age where it's not, I don't know, people aren't necessarily as outgoing and friendly as they were, you know, a generation ago. So yes. it's nice to, to see kids grow up into young adults and to, to meet the folks in the town. And it's, it's kind of like um, being a bartender without drunk. Yeah, you without know, people are just alcohol. happy. You know, it's very rare that someone comes and it's a sad thing. So yeah. it's awesome. I definitely associate ice cream with this like childlike joy, you know? Absolutely. Like, and well. even the adults get that same look on their face sometimes yeah. when they get it. It's just that sheer joy, which yeah. is amazing. Yeah. And it's funny watching people come up and order ice cream when it's rainy like today. Oh, yeah. Um, they Everybody looked very excited. Yeah, nobody so. seemed to mind. So yeah. that's good. Um, so what is your favorite flavor that you sell? Ooh, hard, soft, depends. I guess let's go soft. I, I'm a sucker for vanilla. Yeah? Yes. I'm like kind of like a purist. But if, if we're talking like the special flavors that we can mix up, I really yeah. love the pistachio because it takes very much like the pudding from when we were kids, but frozen. So right. I really like those. Um, hard ice cream. I've always been a mint chocolate chip kind of person. But we also have um, a coconut chocolate and almond flavor, which kind of tastes like a frozen mounds bar. Oh, so that's, that's my favorite. Yeah. So that's okay. kind of... That's, that's it's inching away the, the green mint chip for me. <laughs> All right, before I leave uh, the red caboose, I figured I'd show that it is uh, literally a red caboose. So, I mean, that's always fun. And uh, I mean, we'll see if any other places are open today. So, I mean, at least we got one. All right, my next stop today was Toad's 2 Ice Cream. Um, I had a wonderful conversation with Kathy, the owner. Um, yeah, I mean, it seems like this is a long-standing part of the community here, a place for kids to come and hang out and always get some ice cream. She said that she doesn't have a favorite because the ice cream of the day uh, depends on your mood of the day. And I like that mentality, but I'm gonna enjoy this in my car and get out of the rain and uh, on to the next. All right, after a full day of trying ice creams, uh, I think I'm gonna call it quits. It's uh, getting worse out and I am wet and cold. Um, so, you know, three for like five or six or something like that. I think those are pretty good numbers. 